What's up, everybody? Master King Chef J right here, and I appreciate y'all watching. Man, today, I'm going to try to blow your mind. Today, we're going to be doing shrimp and grits, Chef J Rod style. So check this out. I got some leftover grits. What I'm going to do with those grits, shape them up, bread them, and deep fry them. Yes, they're going to be deep fried grits. But I'm also going to make a Cajun Creole sauce with all these beautiful ingredients. I got some paprika, lemon pepper, got some parsley, got some Cajun spice, some heirloom tomatoes, fresh garlic, spinach. We got some onions and peppers, some andouille sausage. We also got some Parmesan cheese. And then the star of the show, we got the shrimp right here and this beautiful lobster tail. So listen guys, if I was you, I would not go anywhere. Stick around. Now we are always in flavors every day of the week. Shout out to Chef Jaden, he done saved you a seat. Like, comment, and subscribe, and go and put on repeat. And now I'll wait. Take out your season and make it rain on that thing. This the type of cooking, make them buy you a rain. Don't compare Chef Jay, cause he ain't the same. And that's for real, though. You know the deal, though. And I know you probably heard it through the grapevine. That everything that he makes, it is great fine. Left some macaroni to the crepe and the ribeye. Super Bowl videos, go get ready for the fish fry. Or some Nashville hot chicken for some kickback, uh. Or some Henny hot wings just to get slapped, uh. He moving up to greater things, ain't no get back, uh. He the best at everything, Chef Gerard the Master King. All right, guys, so check it out. So I got these grits right here that I made on purpose yesterday so I can shape them today. Now, you can have whatever or use whatever grits you like, however you make your grits, but they gotta be cold, right? So look, I have a top right here. And this could come from a mayonnaise jar, a pickle jar, whatever jar, right? And then I got a parchment paper right here that I'm folding. So this is what I'm gonna use to shape the grits. So I take a scoop, right? And I put it inside here. All right, check it out. And then I mash it down. And from here, I got a nice shape. And this is, this is how I'm gonna fry the grits. So I take that right there, and boom. I got a beautiful, round, circular grit patty. But now, we're gonna take it to the bread station. Here, I got some flour that I seasoned, just regular seasoned flour. I got some buttermilk right here, and I got some panko. But with this panko, I'm gonna hit it with some Parmesan cheese. And then y'all see that Mike Lowry's right there? I'm gonna take some of that Mike Lowry's, put that in there, and then I'm gonna mix it up real good. And then we just do the bread station, y'all. We go to the flour, to the buttermilk, and to the panko. Make sure we get it all real good. And then you gotta take time to do this. So what I'm gonna do now is put this on the plate, put this in the freezer, let it get like almost cold, like a deep chill, and then I'm gonna show y'all what to do with it next. So you guys saw how I breaded that, right? It was pretty cool. Right here I use a circular thing. You can use whatever shape you want, right? I have the one right here, it's kind of flimsy. If I put this in the, in the fryer, it may disintegrate. So I took some and I breaded them earlier. And let's go right to the deep fryer, guys. So we're gonna take this bad baby, we're gonna drop it in the deep fryer for maybe three to four minutes until it's golden brown. While that's cooking, let's go into the lobster tail, right? I have a lobster tail right here. What we're gonna do is crack it open. And what I wanna do is pull the meat out and sit it on top, because this is gonna be a broiled lobster tail, and it's gonna sit right on top. Now, I got my knife in. I'm not gonna go all the way in there. I just wanna crack it down the middle to pull the meat out. Perfect, just like that. Now I can go in here with my hands, cut it open a little bit, and then I can just go in there. Let me get it a little bit more and pull this meat out. And now I can sit that meat right on top of the lobster tail. But since that's butterfly like that, I just take that and do a little bit more. Now, from here, stay right here. I'm gonna grab a pan. I'm gonna take this lobster tail and I'm gonna season this bad baby because we are gonna broil this sucker, right? I'm gonna take a little bit of lemon pepper. Do just a little bit, a little bit of paprika. Do 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 and then a little bit of chopped parsley. And then what I'm gonna do is melt some butter, pour some butter over it. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the pan so the steam makes it nice and moist. And I'm gonna put that bad baby in the oven 375 degrees for about seven minutes. Don't go anywhere. 
Man, look at that grit cake right there. Nice and golden brown, right? I'm gonna pull that up and let that rest. That's beautiful. Listen, got that melted butter right out of the oven. I mean, out of the microwave. I just melted some butter down. I'm gonna just pour that butter all over like that, right? I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Just so it could, and I'm not gonna put the water on it. I'm gonna put the water around it. Just so it could steam the lobster tail. Give it a little bit of color more with that. Into the oven. All right, so I'm taking this out of the fryer and I'm just bringing it over to the plate. So the grit part of this is ready, man. Let's get into the sauteing. So over here, some of those ingredients y'all saw. So I got my pan hot right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. And then I'm gonna start sauteing. So first, I wanna add my andouille sausage because this releases a lot of flavor. I'm gonna let this cook for about a minute and then I'm gonna come back and add the other ingredients. Man, those sausages looking real good, nice and rendered. So now I add my onions and peppers. That's just red bell peppers, green bell peppers and onions, right? And then I'm gonna get that a little bit of salt and pepper. Let that go for a minute. While that's cooking, I'm gonna take my shrimp, season with a little bit of lemon pepper, with a little bit of Creole. Mix that up real good. Now, got the shrimp nice and seasoned, got my onions and peppers cooking really good. Now I'm gonna add the garlic. That's about a tablespoon of garlic. Boy, if y'all could smell what I'm smelling right now. I got grit cake. I got lobsters, we got shrimp. Man, it is going down in this kitchen today. So now I'm gonna take some of those tomatoes and put them in there. Let those get a nice little caramelization on there. And then after about a minute, I'll add the shrimp. You don't wanna add the shrimp too early because you don't want the shrimp to be rubbery and chewy. So the shrimp take about two minutes tops to cook. So you don't wanna add the shrimp too early. So everything is woke, right? Everything is jumping around. It's a party in the pan. You see how everybody dancing to the rhythm of the night? To the be in the rhythm of the night. Dancing to the morning light. Forget about the worries on your mind. That's what's going on in this pan right here. Now we add the shrimp. And we saute that up a little bit. Man, this is looking good. We got a few more ingredients to add in here. Ooh wee. So after about a minute, I'm gonna show y'all what this gonna look like. Oh, we now it's time to lift all those flavors off off the bottom of the pan. Of course, you need some acid in this thing, right? So I'm gonna take a little bit of lemon, fresh lemon juice, and squeeze that in there. After the lemon juice, I'm gonna go ahead and add the fresh spinach. And I did chop that spinach up a little bit. After I add the spinach, I'm gonna go around here with some heavy cream. And then I'm gonna finish this off. Let that go a little bit. And I'm gonna let that reduce a little bit. Hit it with a little Parmesan cheese. Man, how good does that look, y'all? A little bit more of that Cajun. And we're just gonna let that reduce down, so. Beautiful. All right, time to pull that lobster tail out of the oven. Let's check it out. How beautiful is that? Y'all see that? Man, it looks so good. So what I'm gonna do is baste it with a little bit of that butter, right? And then let's just set it to the side right here. Then this plate's done. So we're gonna take this off. And it's time to plate this bad baby. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't plate that right there, right? So what I'm gonna do now, y'all, take this lobster tail, set it on top of here, just like that. Beautiful, right? Then I'm gonna move this out the way, because it's in the way, right? Then I'm gonna take some of this sauce with the shrimp and just pour some of that sauce over the lobster tail and around the plate. Man, this looks so good. Just around like that. Then I'll take some of those shrimp and just place it around just like this here. Y'all know I'm gonna clean it up. 
This is a beautiful dish right here, man. Take some of the tomatoes, get all of that spinach. Make sure some get on the lobster tail. How beautiful is this? Oh man, it is smelling so good in here right now. This is a monster right here. Take a couple of more shrimp, put one right here. And I'm gonna take a piece of tomato, put it right there. Man, then I'm gonna start garnishing this thing, right? I got a lemon that I charred right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of more, a little seasoning, some little chopped parsley, right? Take some Parmesan cheese. Then I'm gonna take some of these beautiful micro greens right here. Sit it on top of that lobster tail just like that. Take that lemon. After I clean the plate a little bit. And just set that bad baby right there. How beautiful is this? And I cannot wait to eat this. So this is shrimp and grits kicked up with a broiled lobster tail, with a Cajun Creole sauce, with spinach and Dewey sausage, tomatoes. Man, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Tell me what you think, baby. Man, this thing's so pretty. I don't even want to mess it up. I don't even know where to start. All right, so let's start from the, from the foundation. So down here, we got that Parmesan breaded grits. Y'all see it right there? Let's see what these grits look like on the inside. Oh my God, y'all see that? Nice and crispy on the outside. So moist, y'all see that heat coming off that thing? Now let's get in here and taste it. Ooh! Man, that is a whole thing all by itself. Nice and creamy. It's a cheese grits. It's a cheddar cheese grits. Nice and creamy. You get that sharpness from the cheddar cheese. And you get that crispiness from that, ooh, from that panko bread crumb. Now let's taste it with the shrimp and the sauce. I don't even know where to start with this thing. This is delicious. Mmm. This is a monster right here. The shrimp give it such a good freshness. They're nice and plump and not overcooked. Cooked perfectly, man. Look at that shrimp, so beautiful. Now I gotta get in here with this bad baby right here. Y'all see that lobster tail right there? Ooh, we take some of that lobster meat right there. Go in there with some of them grits, some of the sauce. Man, y'all see that steam coming off there? We really cooking around here. Everything is amazing. It's amazing separate, but it's so good all together. This is fire right here. This is straight fire. Camera guy, I don't think that's ever happened in the history of us shooting videos. Yeah, I sat here and ate almost the whole entire dish. This is probably the best thing I ever made in my life, man. Camera guy don't eat seafood, so this is all for me. Listen, guys, I really appreciate y'all. Remember, always keep God first in your life, and everything will fall into place. Thank y'all for watching. God bless. Already, I take it, it's a nice grit patty. So we're gonna take it over to the freezer, this ain't no damn freezer, this is a fryer. Let's take that over again. <laughs> Listen, guys. I don't even know what I'm gonna say right there. Don't listen, you watch me eat. This is so good. I think this, I think I'm gonna eat this whole thing. You can record it if you want to.